it's Jennifer Trubenbach, and I run Operation of Hope worldwide. And we're a charity that has come to Zimbabwe now for 30 seconds. This will be our 30 second mission. And we do a cleft camp where we help people that are suffering from the cleft lip, which is the split in the lip, as well as the hole in the roof of the mouth. And we help any ages, um, anyone who has a cleft lip, as long as they're at least three months old. And for our palates, we ask that they be at least 11 months old and up to around six years of age. How has the service been when you come to Zimbabwe? Like, how has the operation been going on? Yeah, well, today is our second day of surgery, and yesterday we completed seven. And today we are probably on our fourth and we'll probably have at least three more. Our goal is to be able to help around 50 to 60 people, depending upon the surgery and how long it takes. Um, but we will be operating this week as well as next week. Uh, what, what patients are you looking forward to? Well, we do have some openings for cleft lips and that is the split lip, so anybody again three months or older we would really um, hope they would come to Mapilo Hospital and our doctors will screen them and then schedule them for the operation it's completely free doesn't cost anything to the family and uh, I have some of the most wonderful surgeons very well qualified that come from all over the world and they come as volunteers they love the country of Zimbabwe and we want to help as many people that we possibly can. So any help to get the word out is greatly appreciated. Uh, you came with a team of how many doctors and surgeons? So we have two teams because this week it'll be a team of 23 and all those doctors go home and then a new team comes in for the second week and that's a team of around 23 people also. How much does it cost to uh, operate a left clip or a panic? In the United States, it would run, if you calculated all the hospital, the doctor, all those costs, uh, cleft lip runs around 35,000 US dollars, and a cleft palate can be a little bit more, only because it's a little more complex of a surgery. Uh, so far, how are you finding the health environment at Mbilo Hospital? Well, this is like coming home because we've been here. This, I guess, if I remember correctly, we've been here since, I think, 2012, around there. We first started in Harare in 2006. So we've been there, we've been in Zimbabwe since 2006. But Mampilo is warm and welcoming and the people are wonderful. The staff is amazing. Everyone from the janitors to the cooks to the drivers that take us to and from highly trained in this area, we can help. And the cleft lip surgery is 45 minutes. The palate surgery runs around two hours. And of course, a little time to put the baby to sleep and wake the baby up. But it's a very uh, complex surgery. And yet, if you have the right surgeons, uh, you get one surgery, it's done right. And you have a beautiful outcome. So far, how many people have you helped in Zimbabwe? I would say we're in the thousands, um, and we're really proud of that number, but I think we're even uh, prouder to say that one of Harari's own, Zimbabwe's own surgeon, uh, is one of our lead surgeons, and he's from uh, Harare, Dr. Manana, Dr. Wayne Manana, and he's here this week in one of our rooms doing these surgeries. So we benefit from working with the local surgeons that are willing to work with us, and we have found him to be most helpful. And that's really important, that we come in and we partner with the hospital and the staff and the local doctors to do this sort of work. Our goal one day is, unfortunately, as sad as we'd be, to leave Zimbabwe if the need were fulfilled and go elsewhere in the world and leave a doctor here that is, you know, fully qualified um, and can do these surgeries. And yet, it's a challenge in Zimbabwe, as we all know, um, and so we'll we'll work on that over the years. And we, I think, we've done an excellent job of that. 
Pilo is warm and welcoming and the people are wonderful. The staff is amazing. Everyone from the janitors to the cooks to the drivers that take us to and from the hospital, the nurses that they've supplied for the ward or for the operating room are like old friends. It's lovely, lovely to be back here. What causes gift lift or gift palate? The number one reason is it's a genetic uh, condition. So much like I might have brown eyes and someone else has blue eyes, when the baby's face forms, there is a genetic component that prevents the, the face from actually coming together, like the pages of a book. And so um, there can be more than one cleft lip in a family. It's, it can be uh, handed down through generations. And it is truly no fault, and I think this is really important, it is no fault of the mother or the father. It is nothing they have done uh, any more than giving birth to, like I said, a blue-eyed baby or a brown-eyed baby. It happens, but fortunately, people like our groups who are highly trained in this area, we can help. And the cleft lip surgery is 45 minutes. The palate surgery runs around two hours, and of course, a little time to put the baby to sleep and wake the baby up. But it's a very uh, complex surgery, and yet, if you have the right surgeons, uh, you get one surgery, it's done right, and you have a beautiful outcome.